that uh, Rodri Phillips, uh, who is the fourth Viscount St David's, has decided to abandon his appeal against his conviction for sending menacing messages to the anti-Brexit campaigner Gina Miller. Our legal correspondent Clive Coleman is at Southwark Crown Court and uh, has been following events in court for us. Clive, bring us up to date. Well, it was a fairly dramatic turnaround in court this morning. Rodri Phillips uh, arrived at court accompanied by uh, a number of uh, supporters. Uh, he was due to make this appeal against his sentence. But before that appeal started, Judge Deborah Taylor, who is the senior judge sitting at this court, uh, advised uh, Rodri Phillips' barrister, Oliver Brunk, you see, that the court, having read the papers in the case, uh, had to advise Rodri Phillips that there was a risk that if the appeal proceeded, that the sentence, uh, the, se the original 12-week sentence that was imposed at Westminster Magistrates Court back in July, that that sentence could be increased. Uh, that led Mr Brunt uh, to ask for some time to advise his client. Uh, he had some 15 minutes to do so, and when he returned to court, uh, he advised the court that having considered the indication uh, that Judge Taylor had given uh, that the appeal would be abandoned. Now, the effect of that is that the 12-week sentence that was originally imposed, uh, Lord St David's had served some five days of that when he put in his appeal. He was then given bail pending the hearing of the appeal. So he will now serve the remainder of that sentence. By my uh, maths, that's some uh, 11 weeks and, and two days. Of course, it will be subject to uh, early release pr provisions. Uh, but it was a fairly dramatic turnaround because uh, Mr. Uh, Brunt indicated that the advice had already been given uh, to Viscount St. Davis that there was a possibility, there always is a possibility when you appeal against uh, sentence uh, that the sentence could indeed be uh, increased. So that advice had been given before today's hearing, but as it were, Mr. Brunt, uh, I'm paraphrasing him, said having heard it, as it were, from the judge personally, uh, advice was taken that issue was reconsidered uh, and the appeal was abandoned. So as I say, he will now serve the remainder of uh, the sentence.